Hello, this is a quick tutorial. I want to show you how to import FBX into Element. I was surprised to see there wasn't any tutorials online, so I thought I'll make one. So open up um, After Effects, go to File, New, Maxon Cinema 4D File. And uh, this Maxon Cinema 4D comes with After Effects. You don't have to purchase this. This is a, a free product that ships with After Effects. Um, save your Cinema 4D file anywhere. Press save and it'll open up Cinema 4D Lite. And close this dialog. Go to File, Merge, and choose your FBX file. I have a tire FBX file here, which is available on TurboSquid.com if you want to check it out. Leave all of these settings uh, at default and click OK. Wait for it to load. It's a high poly model, so it's going to take a little bit of time. There you go. It's loaded, and you can see that some of the uh, materials have shown up here. So if you scroll, uh, zoom in a little bit, you can see the tiny model. Okay. File, save, and Cinema 4D, quit Cinema 4D. Now come back into After Effects, create new composition, and then create a new solid. I'm going to call this Element 3D or E3D. Add Element 3D, sorry, Element um, Effect. Go to Setup, go to Import and choose that Cinema 4D file and import the object and leave all of this on default and click OK and you can't really see anything but the materials have loaded here so click on normalize size and there is the model for you now <clears throat> I'm gonna assign uh, just the diffuse material to show you that uh, it does work so let's go in a tire diffuse material I think I've got it here material and tire uh, base color I mean I have roughness and uh, metallic and whatnot but I'm not going to assign those uh, right now you, you know you can assign them if you if you like <clears throat> I'm just going to assign the base color for now so alloy base color I'm going to leave it at that. I want to make this a quick tutorial. So um, I've assigned it up to break. So four materials I have assigned, but nothing is showing up. Um, so you click on each of these materials and go to diffuse color and click that and change it to white. Click OK. There, it's starting to show up now. I'm just going to actually assign break disk core. Um, So here's the model, click OK, go to layer, new, camera, and create, whatever, right. So here's the model in Element 3D, which is an FBX file. Um, so it doesn't look uh, that cool, but you have to add, um, you know, effects to make it look real. However, I think if I go into setup and say, for example, I'm going to tire, change this to standard shader yes that works sometimes the physical shaders are maybe just just doesn't work um, so just change it to physical shader and sorry change it to standard shader and it might work better go to logo font and standard shader everything is now standard shader and there you go that looks uh, much better Obviously, you can adjust the glossiness and uh, the roughness and whatnot using the scales um, in an element itself. Like, you know, go to tire. Um, so, so you can adjust these things here directly. Um, you know, the specular itself and whatnot. So. That's uh, the quick tutorial. Hope you liked it. Please like, share, 
and comment and subscribe. Thank you very much. Have a good day.